Let's talk about conductivity titrations. We're going to add hydrochloric acid drop by drop to distilled water and measure the conductivity. We're going to then titrate the hydrochloric acid by adding drop by drop sodium hydroxide of the same molarity to the solution. Of course, the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions will react to form water. And we're going to see what happens to the conductivity and a good explanation on the ionic level of what's happening. This is the conductivity curve that results. As drops of sodium hydroxide are added to the hydrochloric acid, the conductivity gradually and linearly goes down. As we go past four drops, the conductivity rises in what appears to be a straight line. Best fit lines added to the two halves of the titration curve show, in fact, that we have two linear functions that are colliding here around four and a half drops of sodium hydroxide. Now the equation says that hydrogen ions react with sodium ions to form water and that the chloride and the sodium ions are of course spectators. What's happening? Well as each hydroxide ion is added it's reacting with a hydrogen ion to form a molecule of water. This takes the hydrogen ion out of the conductivity stream and leaves sodium ions in the hydrogen ions place. This illustrates the reaction of the hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion to form water. Let's think of one pair of hydrogen and chloride ions as having a conductivity of one. We start with five pairs of ions, one per drop. Here are your hydrogen ions, here are your chlorides. If we introduce one drop of sodium hydroxide, the hydroxide reacts with the hydrogen ion, and now we have replaced the sodium for the hydrogen ion. We change the hydrogen ion to water and substitute a sodium ion which is much, much larger than the hydrogen ion. The big sodium ion then will move more slowly through the solution under a voltage than the little hydrogen ion will. So the conductivity will go down. The process continues drop by drop, hydrogen ion by hydrogen ion, until all the hydrogen ions have been neutralized by hydroxide and all the hydrogen ions have been replaced by sodium ions. The next drop of sodium hydroxide introduces a sodium ion and a hydroxide ion, neither of which are neutralized. Conductivity should rise dramatically. And this gives us the conductivity curve. The decline here as sodium hydroxide neutralizes the hydrogen ions, and the increase here as unneutralized sodium hydroxide is added to the solution. The endpoint of this titration is the volume of sodium hydroxide that exactly neutralizes the acid. You will note that it may not occur at one of the points that we are actually plotting, but rather at the intersection of these two straight lines. Use this volume in the usual volume of acid times molarity of acid equation to find the molarity of the acid.